Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create alerts based off specific prices in the IC Market C Trader Forex trading platform. Before we do begin to the tutorial, I would like to mention that if you are looking for a new Forex trading platform or you'd like to try out something new, if you've seen these videos before and you do like the look of this platform, feel free to follow the link at the very beginning of the video as well at the end of the video. And this same link will also be provided down in the description below. Feel free to take the link in the description to a direct sign up page for an absolutely free demo of this platform. So as I said in the introduction, this video will be focusing on how to create price based alerts. Now before we do begin, I would like to suggest that you should turn on your sound when these alerts are activated. You can do that by simply coming to the sidebar menu and clicking on the sounds on button. It's worth noting that these price alerts do trigger based off of sound. You will get a notification as well. You can create a custom text notification, but if you are monitoring something else or your attention is somewhere else, a sound alert may actually be very helpful for you. That way you hear that sound, you know your price alert has been hit and you can move on from there. It's also worth noting that down in the bottom right here, you can turn on price alerts, activate them on or off as needed. So if you are planning on using price alerts, just make sure this is highlighted black where my mouse currently is hovering over. Now that we have those two options activated, let's begin to create our price alert. And you can do so by navigating below your charts here. And you'll notice there is a tab that is called price alerts. This is where you can monitor your price alerts as well as create them. So I'll make my charts a bit smaller so our section's bigger here. Now, once you do have your price alert section open, the green button here on the right hand side will become active and this will allow you to create a price alert. Clicking on this will bring up your new alert tab here. Now from here, we can begin creating our alert. So there are a couple criteria this is based off of. The first set of criteria is the actual contract you're trading. From here, just simply click the drop down menu. You can manually search for a contract you'd like to trade, or you can simply search in your text box here. So although it is the first one, if you did want to trade something involving the Euro and the US dollar, just type in Euro USD and it will filter. If you type in EUR, it will display essentially every Euro contract there is. Being that it is a popular contract, we'll select the Euro versus US dollar. And now you can have your expression essentially created for yourself based off the criteria you would like it set to. So as you can see, this is essentially an expression created and they make it quite easy for you. So as you can see, here is your criteria here. Notify me when. So you can have your price based off and indicated by a blue price alert in the chart, which is your ask, or you can have it set to your bid. The bid price is indicated by a red price in the chart. So those are something to keep in mind there. We can have our set to the bid for now. So now you'll want to be notified based off of your bid price is either higher or lower a specific price. So as you can see, if we hover over it, higher means that the bid or ask must be greater or equal to, to the selected price. And then the lower option means that the bid or ask must be smaller or equal to the selected price. So this is your second set of criteria. As you can see, your first section is off a of bid and ask and your second is off of a higher or lower price. So you can mix and match as needed depending on how you want your alert triggered. This will differentiate between trader to trader, but we'll just create a sample for this one. Now, finally, we have or equal to our actual price. So from here, we can either manually adjust by clicking the up or down arrows or also highlight this field, delete, and then enter in the price that we want our alert to trigger off of. Now, finally, once we do have our price set in stone, the final option here is a pop-up window. And like I mentioned before, a play sound. I believe this is crucial and this essentially makes up the entire purpose of an alert. You want that pop-up to display and if you're like me, you prefer that sound to play as well 
when your alert is triggered. That way you're notified on all fronts. You can have this section enabled. And if you do have the sound disabled, as I showed you before, you will just get the pop-up, vice versa. If you turn this off, that section off in the right-hand side menu bar over there, you won't get the alert or the price selection at all. So it's something to keep in mind. Finally, if you do, as you can see here, you can actually have an email that the alert is set to. This must be customized in the settings. Or you can just type in optional message for yourself just so you know what's going on. You could have your account number there. As you can see, it's listed for us in the top right-hand corner. So I can put my account ID there. And then I can just say Euro, US dollar, at, for example, 1.13545, just so I know exactly what's going on in my alert. My little message here will alert me for when this is actually triggered. Now, if we create alert, you can see it has been placed in our alert section here. We can monitor in this window. If we like, we can close this out and we can also monitor it now in our price alert section. And as you can see, we do have a one next to our price alerts, just letting us know that there is one price alert active. If you'd like to, at any time, you can simply cancel out your price alert by clicking the X button here, or we can click the close all price alerts if there are multiple active at one time. I believe these will stay in effect until the actual price is triggered. But if you need to restart or delete at any time, just again, click that X button and your price alert will be removed. Just one more time, we can change this up a bit. We'll do the same price here. This shows us that it's actually below the current price. If we want, we can increase this a bit. Let's make this 1.7. Oh, the red is actually demonstrating that it is at the ask price, so that's something to keep in mind. And then once we're ready, we can just click alert as needed. So real simple, pretty straightforward. Again, if you need to, you can actually view your information in the current price here on the left hand side. So something else to keep in mind. But that just about wraps it up for this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Give us a comment with any concerns, questions. And finally, again, if you'd like, feel free to check out the description down below for a direct link to the sign up page for the demo of this product. Thanks for watching.